Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the August 19th full moon, super moon, also known as the blue moon, coming up in the zodiac sign of Aquarius, bringing us uh, great moments of realizations, awakenings and breakthroughs that can only happen when we're willing to face with our own darkness. So I've named this video six days of darkness because you know six days is the period where the full moon's energy is the most potent three days before and three days after and this full moon is um it's a very potent one because it will firstly make you feel quite emotional but you may notice that you're not just you know emotional you feel very dark stuff about yourself, like the suppressed emotions, the repressed emotions. You may be feeling during this time a greater need for letting go, for surrendering, for healing, for, you know, whatever these terms mean to you. You may feel kind of drawn into these things. I've actually made two videos about letting go, about surrendering and about deep emotional feeling that leads to healing. So, I've named this video Six Days of Darkness because you may be noticing that you're facing with your own darkness right now and firstly you need to know it's okay, it's a, a very natural thing right now. It's like a natural astrological purification is happening during this time and you just need to face with yourself, go like eye to eye with yourself and just notice what needs to be done what needs to be released, what needs to be healed, and where you need to move on, where you need to, you know, make a new plan, make a new strategy, or or just, you know, find some more clarity, what you truly want to do that will, f that will free you, that will liberate your life, and it will make you feel more purposeful, more, you know, meaningful. So I'm actually recording this um, voiceover outside, me and my are traveling, uh, we are on an island called Korchula, my favorite place in Croatia. And I'm outside on the beach recording this. So we have a beautiful scenery, a beautiful support to make this happen. And I firstly want to let you know that um, however tough or however dark or however intense this period may feel, know that it's okay whatever you feel is okay feel it allow yourself to feel it because maybe in the past you thought you should feel more like this or should you should think more like this or sh you should be more like this but you see the world is going through an incredible chaos right now and there is more stress present on the surface than it was ever before and because of that well, it's much easier to feel collectively stressed, to feel collectively, you know, to kind of tune into the chaos of collective unconsciousness. But at the same time, you know, you're being invited to, to participate in healing of the collective unconsciousness, to, to make unconscious conscious, so you can notice what is really not, you know, what is unnecessary at this point. When it comes to your thoughts, when it comes to your beliefs, and when it comes to your emotions, you may notice most of this suppressed energy just wants to be released. That's why you feel like there's a bunch of darkness maybe still within you. Well, it's completely okay. So I want to give you five things to focus on. How to how you may be feeling right now and how to use all these um, energies, how to utilize them for healing, for manifestation, for breakthroughs and for winning big in your life. Because I want you to notice you're already a winner. You're already a winner and you just, you just need to really in tune with yourself to notice that you deserve the best whatever you've been dreaming about, whatever you wanted to experience, whatever will bring the most freedom and productivity, creativity into your life, you deserve all of that. You're worthy of that.
This full moon is also a lot about worthiness, which we'll talk later. And I think the fifth thing is the most interesting and powerful at this point. So the first reminder I want to give you is that this is a time of peak realizations and massive purification. So it is in Aquarius and Aquarius is this sign that often, you know, brings to us a sense of new awakening, a sense of um, getting, you know, getting ourselves to the next level. It's about evolution. It's about change. It's about uh, rising up. It's um, about freeing ourselves. So many of you may be feeling like you want to change your habits at this point because with certain ones that were good for you, you became maybe lazy, you've fallen off the track, you've started feeling like um, less and less motivated or less and less inspired and then at some point you've started downgrading yourself or actually moving downward spiral. And if that's you, well, you may be experiencing peak moments of realization what to stop doing so you can start doing something new, right? So it is also a moment of darkness because you may notice like so many times when people go through this peak realizations, they start blaming themselves. Like there's something wrong with me or I'm such an unproductive or unmotivated person or all these other people are there and I'm not there and you compare yourself with others and all of that. But I just want to remind you, hey, you're going through something like everybody else. Everyone is going through something. It's just like how well are we able to truly manage ourselves? How well we're truly able to be compassionate and kind towards ourselves when we're moving through this kind of realization so we can also purify ourselves, right? Purification means you remove what is impure. You remove what is unhealthy. You remove what is not good for you. You remove what is maybe, you know, toxic or unhealthy. What is just not, you know, helping you to break through. And when it comes to me and my life, well, here and there I, I have these moments when, where I just need to really stop everything and I just reflect like, okay, the way I'm doing this, there's no breakthroughs, there's no progress. So... What could be a new approach? Was there something in the past that worked but I've stopped doing? Uh, was it the way I've started my day? Was it the way I was, you know, what was I studying? Is there something I've forgotten? Is, uh, you know, there something better I could do? Is there a new way I could take? And, you know, just setting bigger questions or deeper questions t will get us to deeper truths. So maybe you may notice that there's a need to release attachments to self-destructive desires and embrace a more collective, forward-thinking perspective. So what does it mean, well, collective, forward-thinking perspective? Well, Aquarius is, it is a visionary, but it's also a collective doer. So it often inspires us to think collectively. To think, okay, what is good for me is also maybe could be also good for others. So when I improve my life, the way I've improved my life could also help someone else. So we notice that, well, partially we are doing good things for ourselves, but partially we are also becoming a better person because it may help someone else. We may inspire someone else. We may be an example for someone else, especially if you have kids or if you're running a community or if you're maybe uh, working in any social work where you are influencing others. You need to understand you're always influencing others. And happier you are, better you can influence others. And this is just a great realization at this point. So it's a time to face with the truth. It's a time to admit to yourself that maybe you have some bad habits that could be improved. It's time to admit to yourself that it's, you know, it's okay to set up a new plan, to start new routines. It will actually free you. It will improve a lot at this point. Commit yourself through discipline, 
and discipline just means to staying true to a plan, staying true to a vision, staying true to a practical step, something we'll talk later, and to be accountable. So set up certain things that will make you feel accountable. Like for me, making daily videos is I'm being accountable. Like I know every single day I will show up and I will do something. I will, you know, clarify my mind. I will set down some thoughts or or something I want to share with you and I will make it happen. It makes me feel accountable. So this is just something that may help you at this point to, you know, to push yourself, to motivate yourself, to break from these unconscious programs and, you know, move on. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to get to the next level, whatever it means. The second reminder I want to give to you is that um, this present energy, it brings to emotional awakening, which means from stagnation to flow. Go from stagnation to flow. So under this moon, you may feel a heightened sense of emotional clarity, seeing things from a new and more objective perspective. Trust this insight, my friend as it helps you to detach from emotional blocks and embrace new ways of being. So, firstly, you need to face with negative emotions and go one step at a time, right? One step at a time. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling right now? My friend, how are you feeling? You don't need to answer to me, but pay attention to how you feel. Yesterday's video was all about feeling it, going into feeling and releasing it just by feeling it. That is the, the very healthy approach towards your emotions. Because if you think about emotions as energy in motion, you know, and sometimes you don't know how to use something that you feel you distract yourself from it and that's how you suppress it and then it bothers you and you suppress it even more and you run away from it and you try to escape your feelings but you can't because it's stuck within you so the point is that your body is telling you something this kind of energies are like notifications from your body telling you hey there's something you need to take care of and there's a lot of wisdom in it and this wisdom will actually liberate you when you listen to yourself, when you listen to yourself. And most of the time, the problem with people is that when they hear what they need to do or what they really feel they should do, they don't do it. They don't hold themselves accountable. So I want to remind you, your body holds truth, a lot of truth in it. There's a lot of truth and wisdom inside of your body. If you will listen to it, well, prepare for uncomfortable moments, but they will lead you to breakthroughs. Face with the truth. This process will lead you from feeling to healing, from deciding to beginning, and from becoming to being. And this is so true. When you feel something unpleasant, you also heal it. When you decide you will change something, you begin with it. And when you start beginning, you also start becoming someone new. And as you start becoming someone new, you become, you, you truly, you know, embody a new version of yourself. And consistency leads to new habits and habits are what make us, right? Habits are what make us. So remember that. The third reminder is new liberation is coming. New liberation. It means that all that you're going through right now is also adding up to more freedom you will experience in the future if you're doing the work, right? So think about um, how many times you've actually freed yourself in the past. And then at some point you maybe truly became lazy with that. Or you maybe became stuck with that. Or you maybe noticed that uh, what brought a sense of freedom to you at certain point 
became stagnant. Maybe because you've stopped growing. I've noticed in my life that the greatest freedom truly is growth and creating a lifestyle where I can truly do the things I want to do when I want to do them and that the things that I'm doing provide me a sense of growth. So this is a great freedom. And if I can create a financial abundance with that, if I can help others with that, well, I am satisfied with it. So think about if there's something you could change about it. Like maybe deep inside you feel that you are not really free, that there's still something bothering you. Maybe you know you could experience more financial abundance or maybe you know you could really... I don't know, make yourself unstuck. Maybe your environment is not resonating with you anymore. Is there something you could change? Is there something new you could start doing? Or is there, you know, a need to move to a new location, to a new place? Well, use this time to really get deeper into clarity. And notice that um, updates are always welcome especially right now so you've done it before now do it with greater dis discipline or consistency know that most happiness comes out of getting tasks done that will actually make your life more free and purposeful and see this connection freedom and purpose you see many times when people are tired and exhausted from boring lives they think that freedom is truly resting and doing nothing. But freedom is so much more. Freedom is doing what you want, growing with it, and adding something up to society. Because you notice you are truly like a cell in the society. Of course, if you're exhausted and tired, you need solitude or you need to just recharge and be with yourself but at some point you will feel purposeless at some point you will feel like you want to bring some contribution to this world you want to bring something positive something meaningful something purposeful and at some point you will start thinking about that and right now with all these energies you may be dwelling in these things that's why it's also it may feel like darkness like being lost in the darkness because maybe you are lacking purpose maybe you are lacking meaning maybe you are lacking clarity if yes well darkness is a good thing because at some point you will enlighten it with answers and they need to come from within so i hope this video can be for you a sense of guidance to turn within and ask yourself bigger questions, ask yourself more meaningful questions that will lead you to purpose, that will lead you to growth, to insight, and to revolution of yourself. The fourth reminder is about self-worth. Self-worth, my friend, how worthy do you feel? How worthy do you feel? Because, you know, Self-worth comes from self-image, and self-image comes from self-talk, and self-talk comes from what we've heard about ourselves most of the time, right? In our childhood. And as this is the time of letting go, of surrendering, of identifying, you know, that maybe the way we see ourselves is such a limited perception. Maybe you're so much more. If you would allow yourself to see yourself in a big image, Maybe in an Im image of God, in an image of source. Like, if you've been made in the image of God, what if uh, you are your own biggest limit? What if you would notice that um, your creativity is unlimited, which means that your resources to solve a problem or a challenge are unlimited, which means that you're worthy of solutions, which means that everything you ever wanted can be born out of creative thinking, which means that you firstly need to see yourself as being worthy of a solution, so you allow yourself to think bigger thoughts, right? And sometimes reading a book that uh, inspires you to think bigger will also inspire you to feel more worthy. To notice that you actually 
have been stuck because you've been thinking too little. You've been thinking too little about yourself. And whatever you've heard about what's possible or what's necessary or what's good and what's bad and what's appropriate and what's not appropriate and all of that, maybe most of these things are truly false. Because people that told you that were being stuck because of what they've heard. So I just want to remind you, free yourself from that. If you need, read a book about self-worth. But really, if you close your eyes right now, ask yourself, what do I deserve? What do I deserve? And if it's hard for you to think about abundance, like you deserve abundance, if it's hard for you to imagine that you could experience so much more out of your life, <laughs> well, tap into the emotion behind that and see how much fear is truly blocking you. And then just feel this fear. Feel this fear until you liberate yourself from it. And then ask yourself once again what you truly want and what you truly deserve. Close chapters that have been holding you back, my friend. And I'm sure you need a sense of courage and self-compassion to move through this. And courage, as Plato said, is knowing what not to be afraid. So what not to be afraid at this point anymore? You experiencing more? Maybe you helping more people? Or just you being kinder to yourself, knowing that, well, you deserve it, right? If you want more out of life, you deserve more. But you will also need to maybe do more and be more productive with thi things you love to do. Finish what you've started and hold yourself accountable, as I said. And again, this is something where you will need to face with the darkness. Six days may be quite intense for you right now, but no, this is for the sake of purification. Really, if you can, set some time to really dive deeper into yourself and notice what at this point needs to be closed. Like, close chapters that have been holding you back. Maybe you may sense a sense of urging, urging you to to comfort old wounds, especially around self-worth and independence, knowing that you can actually become independent in any area. You can become more independent. So also notice what kind of ideas are finding you at this point, because they may actually help you with that. And the last thing that I want to give you right now, the fifth one is related to manifestation and vision. So, right now I want you to align your highest ideals. And with highest ideals, I mean really think creatively, open-mindedly and open-heartedly about the life that represents freedom for you. What is freedom for you? What would crystallize your experience? And with that I mean what would make your life the most joyful, the most playful, the most purposeful, the most productive in a very meaningful way. And design a vision. Let it be an idea. Let it be a reality of your higher self. And then bring it to fruition through very practical steps. Know that Aquarius is also a lot about practicality. So when you're thinking about this highest ideal, today you may be very, very inspired to break it down to practical steps. And if you don't know how to do it, read a book about it. Or, I don't know, listen audiobook or podcast or whatever. Or write in the comment section and if there will be enough comments about it, I can make a video to bring you some guidance for how to break down a certain vision into more practical steps. But deep inside, you already know. So what I said before, most of the time, 
people don't manifest what they want because they truly don't hold themselves accountable. So they are living in this cognitive dissonance where they know they should do something and they don't do it. Or they say what they will do and they, they don't do it. Or they do it for three days and then they quit. You see, your life is built out of habits. Whatever you think right now, if it's true or not, it is true. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it out of habits. And habits are these unconscious programs we've designed through repetition. In order to change them, you need to start repeating certain new things that will truly improve you, that will make your life the way you want to be. And repetition is the key. So if you want to make your life the way you want it to be, repetition is the key, right? So make sure that you write down the things you will start doing and never stop. Never stop doing them until it becomes a habit. I've noticed in my life, if I stay true to something for at least one month, it becomes very natural to me. If I stay for two months, it becomes almost my second nature. If I stay consistent with this for three months, it becomes so natural that I can't imagine living my life without it anymore. But well, when something is very important, it must become your lifestyle. So... Well, we've been talking a lot about habits, a lot about utilizing this new energy with embodying a new lifestyle, with embodying more consistency, more self-discipline. And this is what is needed the most right now. See, the world is at such a weird place right now because most people, like globally, most people are living lives that are so dissatisfying to them that they wait outside sources to fix what they've actually created. And Aquarius is always bringing you this, you know, fact, <laughs> this truth fact that says, wake up, wake up my friend and fix your life. Fix what needs to be fixed and heal what needs to be healed and feel what needs to be felt and move on and set a bigger vision for yourself and work on your self-worth because you deserve so much more than you ever thought that you deserve. You are actually worthy of whatever you decide that you're worthy. And the universe only gives you what you're worthy to receive. So worthiness is not just something you fix with affir affirmations. It's something you fix with your lifestyle, task management right when you decide okay from now on i will be i don't know i will be just giving you examples from my life like what kind of decisions i'm making when i'm making changes i i say okay i will be waking up earlier i will be applying things in the morning that lift me up like a workout a good meditation and some planning then i will ask myself can i be more productive with painting maybe because painting is what I'm doing for living what I'm very passionate about can I be more productive with that can uh, you know can I find a new way for selling my art for making my art available to other people is there someone I could contact is there someone I could talk with and you know that's how I start clarifying the things I could do and then I make a plan out of this like this amount, uh, today I will contact this amount of people and this week I will contact this amount of people and this month I will do this and this and that and you know I'm giving you this frequent, frequent <laughs> updates to navigate you through these energies I want to let you know right now you're very supported to enlighten your darkness and to move on with a greater clarity so let me know what resonates the most, the most from this video, my friends. And I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. I hope you've also enjoyed in today's painting, my latest painting called Crystallization of Knowledge. To some of you, it may actually be quite inspiring at this point because you may notice that you are somewhere on this process. You may see at the bottom there are books 
from which there are growing lotus flowers as a symbol of awakening through knowledge, awakening to new perspectives. And then with knowledge, we, we gain like um, glimpses of something that needs to be organized, right? Even when you read a book, it's like it wakes you up to a new perspective, but then you need to organize this perspective and, and kind of strategize it in your own authentic way and that's how you shape these rocks into steps and then you see these steps become more colorful eventually there's grass and flowers because as you walk upward this spiral it feels like you're slowly starting to bloom to flourish and that's where you experience another awakening there's a brain and around it there's there are flowers which represents this awakening of intellect, of knowledge, of logic, but also spirit within you. You start to feel very and deeply inspired, like, um, okay, if I was able to put everything that I've learned into, into actual steps and I've accomplished goals with that and I've actually realized so much of, so many of my dreams with this, what's then the next stage? And that's where people start evolving more spiritually. They go into a deeper meaning, a deeper purpose. And and they've noticed that, well, I also want to build a character. It's not just reaching goals. It's not just manifesting whatever. I want to build a character. I want to become someone that will be a, maybe adding something good to society, maybe adding something that may improve the present situation. I want to bring some of this also to the world. And it leads to deeper spiritual values, deeper spiritual principles that are just even greater discipline, more clarity, um, more justice, more, you know, virtuous acts, understanding maybe morality, higher spiritual morality, and being truly an embodiment of that. That is the real spirit of Christ, right? Doing what is right. Standing for the truth. And walking in it. And, well, it leads to crystallization. To purification. And that's... as. A sort of attainment that can only be done truly through enlightening your own darkness. So I hope that today's painting may inspire you a little bit on this journey. And to anyone who would like to get a copy of it, you can find prints of it on our store at trackpassion.com. You can also read a longer description of it. I when I finished it, I got this download of, you know, this longer description. So check it out on attractpassion.com or its store, I Draw My Passion. Thank you so much, my friends, for tuning in. And once again, uh, write in the comment section what resonates with you the most. And till next time, one love.